Okay, this is 2.6, expressing in pure units as SI. Basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be converting uh, between units from uh, imperial into the metric system. Okay, so you're going to need a tape measure or a ruler that measures both imperial and SI to do this. So let's do some of the try these first. It says here, use mental math to calculate the following. Well, we have a fraction of three-fifths, and we want to find the equivalent ratio when the denominator is 20. So from 5 to 20, how did we get to 20 from 5? Well, we multiplied by 4. So what we do to the bottom, we do to the top. So 3 times 4 is 12. So 12 over 20 is the equivalent fraction of 3 fifths. That's all we're doing here. Okay, we have 2.54 over 1. Well, to go from 1, the denominator of 1 to the denominator of 10, we multiplied by 10. So we want to have the equivalent fraction. We multiply the top by 10 as well. And to multiply by 10, what we learned before is we just need to move the decimal point one spot to the right when we're multiplying. So this becomes 25.4 over 10. 9 fifteenths is the same as 1 over 10. Well, this is uh, not quite as simple. Okay, so we have to see from 15 down to 10, it was reduced by a third. Okay, because uh, the number 10 is 2 thirds of 15. So what number is 2 thirds of 9? 6. Okay, that's a little bit of mental math that you need to know. Number 4, 14 as the denominator down to 2. Well, how did we go from 14 down to 2? Well, we divide it by 7. Okay, so what we do to the bottom, we do to the top to find the equivalent fraction. 35 divided by 7, this is where it comes in handy to know your timetables, is 5. So 35 over 14 is the same fraction as 5 halves, or 5 over 2. Okay, let's move on. You often need to express a length measured in imperial units in SI units or in metric units. Look at a tape measure that shows both measurement systems. Okay, about how many centimeters are there in an inch? One inch is about 2.5 centimeters. <clears throat> Number two, about how many centimeters are there in a foot? One foot is about 30 centimeters. Okay, about how many centimeters are there in a yard? One yard is probably close to uh, 100 centimeters, give or take. Okay, maybe it's 95. Okay, maybe it's 96, but it's close to 100. At this point, we're just estimating. Example number one, a soccer goal is 24 feet wide. About how wide is it in meters? Well, let's look at the solution. About how many centimeters are there at 24 feet? Well, one foot is equal to about 30 centimeters. Okay, this is gonna, just going to be approximate. So 24 times 30 centimeters for, for, per foot. Well, we can take our calculator for that. And we can go 24 times 30, and we get an answer of 720 centimeters, approximately. About how many meters are in 24 feet? Well, one meter is approximately, it is 100 centimeters, so 24 feet is equal to approximately, well, we know there's um, Uh, 30 centimeters per foot, which is about 0.3 of a meter per foot. So if I take 24 and I divide it by 3, that gives me approximately 8 meters. So it's close, give or take. Okay, so when you need to know more precise values, you can use the relationships among common units. The degree of precision you use will depend on the situation. So right here, you can see our uh, close measurements of convert. Uh, close conversion measurements. So one inch is 2.54 centimeters, one foot is 0 0.31 of a meter, one yard is 0 0.91 of a meter, and one mile is 1.61 kilometers. Okay, so this right here is the chart that you would use to do your converting. Okay? All right, so let's go through another example. It says Alfonso drove his truck from Edmonton to Regina, a distance of 436 miles. What is this distance in kilometers? Well, solution number one. How far did Alfonso drive in kilometers? Well, we know that one mile is 1.61 kilometers, so we can just take the number of miles. We can multiply by 1.61 kilometers per mile. And we can just take our calculator and do 436, multiply that by 1.61, and 
The equivalent distance in kilometers is 701.96. Let's just round it up to 702. So approximately 702 kilometers. Solution number two, set up equivalent ratios to relate the units, then solve the equation. Okay, so we can say there's 1.61 kilometers per one mile, which is equal to how many kilometers in 436. So whenever we have equivalent ratios, we can cross multiply. Okay, and by cross multiplying, we just put 436 miles right here. Now, when you've got the same unit on the top and the same unit on the bottom, you can cancel them out because, because uh, they equate to one. So I can cross out miles there. The only unit I'm left with is a kilometer. So I just take 1.61, multiply it by 436, and end up with the same answer, 702 kilometers. So Alfonso drove the boat. 702 kilometers. Which strategy do you prefer? Well, it's just a matter of preference. Okay. How you get to the right answer doesn't really matter as long as you get to the right answer. Example number three. Andrea's height is five feet seven inches. What is her height in centimeters? Well, solution number one. What is Andrea's height in inches? One foot is 12 inches, so five feet times 12 inches is 60 inches, 5 times 12 is 60, plus we have, she's 5 foot 7, so we add another 7, so 60 plus 7 is 67 inches tall, that's how tall she is, that's what 5 foot 7 is. What is Andrea's height in centimeters? Well, we know that 1 inch is 2.54 centimeters, so we take 67 inches, which is her height, we multiply that by 2.54 centimeters per inch, and... Take our calculator, 67 times 2.54, that's the conversion ratio, is 170.18, let's round it to 170.2, 170.2 centimeters. Okay, so Andrea is about 170 centimeters tall. Solution number two, what is Andrea's height in inches? Okay, well we know it's 67 inches. Set up an equivalent ratio and solve the equation. So 2.54 centimeters is to 1 inch, as blank centimeters is to 67. Okay? So how do we do that? Well, we can cross multiply. We can put 67 inches in there. We know that if we have the same unit on the bottom and on the top, they cancel each other out. So the only unit I have left is centimeters. So I just take 2.54 times 67 there and end up with 170 centimeters. Okay, well 170.2, around it to 170. Okay, so Andrea is about 170 centimeters tall. Okay, so that's using the conversion ratios to perform some simple conversion calculations. Use your calculator, you can do some mental math with it. Just make sure that you get the right conversion ratios and the right units uh, and start with the practice.